How is it that the most intelligent creature to roam is destroying its own home? If you really let that sink in, you understand it's true. In the last decade, 467 species of animals have gone extinct. How are we just going to sit here and let this happen? We are risking the lives of such beautiful creatures all for unnecessary wants and desires. Imagine the government kicking you out of your own home just because they want enough bouncy castle to go there. No warning, no giving you money, no replacement home, just simply kicking you out. Now let me ask you this. When you go to the beach, do you really just breathe in and admire what's in the ocean? Some do, some don't. The dark mythical things that lie beneath them, untold and unseen. But the waves that crash against the rocks are filled with plastic. In an article, it states that there is now 5.25 trillion macro and micro pieces of plastic in our ocean, and 46,000 pieces in every square mile of ocean, weighing up to 269 tons. Every day, around 8 million pieces of plastic makes their way into our oceans. Sounds like a bunch of boring facts, doesn't it? But let me put it into perspective for you. If you ever watched Finding Nemo, you know who Crush the Turtle is. So you're swimming around, using radical lingo, and going to your buddies and doing your handshake. But then, you find a piece of plastic. See, with our human minds, we wouldn't eat the plastic. It's just common sense. Not that everyone has it, but with a turtle, it looks like food. So you go up to it, and you start to eat it. But in the middle of it, you start to choke and die. I may have just ruined your childhood, but you see, the plastic is affecting the turtles who live there just as the polar bears watch as their, ho as their home slowly melts away, leaving them with tiny glaciers, all caused by global warming. It's horrible to see their once plump bodies turn into skinny, fragile bears. This may seem all sad, but imagine having greener grass with more animals than we once did. Fresh water, regular polar bears, less plastic in our ocean, less pollution and less factories. But if we take action, rise up and seize the moment, we will sure to succeed. Get out there. Sign petitions that are sh to shut down big factors that are changing our environment. Even if it means just picking up a piece of trash you see a day, you go for it. Use eco-friendly things such as paper bags, paper straws, and make sure to recycle when you can. Whether your act of duty is small or big, everything counts. And no, I don't mean your business on the toilet. We need your help to stop it and turn Earth back into the beauty it once was.